We are sitting in the special collections room of the Calabasas Library. This is the culmination of the Calabasas Historical Society's collection. They have released the materials to us for safekeeping, which is very nice. We are now taking it out of the shadows and putting it out there for a bunch of people to see and enjoy. So I went ahead and did a historical website for the city of Calabasas through the library here that now allows us the ability to put hundreds of historical photos from city history and the neighboring communities on the website. We have complete control over it. We can do whatever we want. We can add videos. There's a ton more content that's coming. There is no better way for a city to understand how far they have come than to know what their past used to look like. That is how you gauge progress. You can gauge how the growth of a city so much faster by having historical records and historical photographs. That's why it's so important. If you want to contribute to city history, one of the very best things you can do is take a picture of your family in front of your family car that's in the driveway in front of your house. Because you are capturing multiple levels of not only your family history, but of the time and place where something had happened. History happens every day. If you take a picture, and it's a good picture, and it has real identifiable content, and we can tell where it is, that photograph will very likely be historical someday. Because it's the little everyday things from the past that when we find that photograph, we go, wow, look at that. I never knew that that happened. We actively promote the idea of we want to see what's in your shoe boxes, in your closets, and in your attics, everyone. If you have historical materials of the Calabasas area, please contact me. We would love to scan it and put your name on it and put it in the archives. If you decide to donate the originals, that's even better uh, because if you have, for example, at least 15 or so pictures, artifacts, whatever, we will start a named collection for you. We can have the John Smith Historical Collection of the city of Calabasas here in the library. And that's a permanent named collection. It will live on for hundreds more years. You know, it's not gonna get thrown out by somebody who doesn't know the value of what you've got. So we encourage people to show us what you have. We would love to see it and store it permanently for you.